This was a Canada Research Chair in Cardio-Oncology. Cardio-Oncologist, briefly, is a new field. It's a cross-disciplinary field that's focused on cardiovascular disease in patients with cancer. One of the things that really attracted me to this is uh, starting seeing patients who have had cancer, and it's a tremendous journey to go through to be diagnosed, to be treated. So you go through this big challenge in life and, and you get over cancer and you're happy at the end of this. And then somebody finds out that you've got heart dysfunction and you're sent to my clinic. So I'm sitting in the clinic talking to a patient who has just gone through cancer and suddenly now they've got heart failure. So really, you know, we ask the question as, can we prevent this from happening? So this award really helps support research in the field that's focused on prevention of cardiovascular disease in this population. Medicine is really, to me, a lot about character and what makes you happy. Every single day when I walk into clinic to see patients, there's tremendous joy and I feel like I can have an impact on somebody's life. What other field is there where somebody is open to all the personal challenges they have had in their life, all that small secrets that they have had that they're willing to share with you to help you help them uh, with their illness. So I think that that's a tremendous privilege and I, I enjoy that. There are so many knowledge gaps in the field of cardio-oncology. We have no idea who's at risk for cardiovascular disease. We have no idea what's the best test to identify early heart disease. We don't know how to treat these patients. And of course, there are different people across the world that are focusing on different aspects. To me, it's that precision medicine approach. And what does that mean? It's looking at uh, biomarkers, which may be blood biomarkers, advanced imaging biomarkers, genomics, and then of course, AI, which helps put all of this together to help me understand that patient sitting in front of me, what is that patient's risk? And what can I do to change that patient's trajectory so they're not left with heart disease after their cancer therapy? And if I can make headways towards that direction, I think that would have been a great achievement over the next five years or throughout my career, to be honest.